Hi everyone, Angela here. Do you have clothing that keeps falling off your shoulders, revealing your bra strap? I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to prevent that by adding bra keepers along the shoulder seam. With your topper dress sitting nicely on your shoulders, find where the bra strap is and then place a pin about half an inch from either side of the strap. And then repeat for the other shoulder. So what we'll be doing is adding a chain from this mark and then a snap or press stud on this mark. It's a lot easier to do up the snap or press stud when it's closer to the neck. Now this top has a lining, but you can use the same method on a plain shoulder seam. I'll be using two sets of size zero snaps or press studs. They measure about 5 sixteenths of an inch or 7 millimeters in diameter. I like to use a needle that's about an inch and a half or four centimeters long with a nice large eye. Use matching thread, pull out about 30 inches or 76 centimeters and pull out another 30 inches. And now use that fold to thread it through the eye of the needle. Now pull through until all of the strands are even, cut your thread, and then tie a knot at the end. You now should have about a 12 inch strand to work with. First put your needle through the lining or shoulder seam of your fabric, take out your pin, and then pull the needle and thread through. Place the male side of the snap right on top in the middle and then thread your needle through one of the holes to hold it in place. By just catching the lining or your shoulder seam, stitch around twice through this hole and then put your needle through the fabric and angle it to the next hole. Then just repeat this all around. If you're finding this video useful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on all of your notifications. You can also find links for all the tools that I use in the description below this video. When you finish sewing around that last hole, stitch through the fabric close to the snap, and then make a knot by placing the needle beside the snap and wrapping the thread around the needle twice and pull through. Now thread your needle under the snap and pull it firmly so that the knot is hidden underneath. Trim your thread and then turn your top over to make sure that there's no stitching showing on the right side. With the needle re-threaded, now insert it into the lining or your shoulder seam where it's marked by the other pin. Remove the pin and then pull the thread right through. To anchor the start of this thread chain, I like to put my needle between two of the threads and then pull tight. This way it anchors onto itself rather than having just the knot pulling on the fabric. Then stitch through the same spot again for a bit more added strength. Insert the needle into the same spot again, but this time pull through leaving a small loop at the end. Put your index and middle finger through the loop and hold on to the thread with your other hand. Grab the thread through the loop and pull tight. So we're building a chain by maneuvering the thread like this. Grab the thread again and pull through nice and tight. We want to pull tight each time so that the loops will be small and close to each other, creating a very neat and solid looking chain. You're basically crocheting with your fingers. Continue doing this chain stitch until you get to the edge of the snap. Now I'm just gonna check the length of my chain. You can see that the end of it is just past the edge of the snap, so it's a little bit too long. I want the chain to sit flat when it's snapped together, so I need to get rid of a couple of stitches. That's easy to do by just pulling on the thread and pulling out two of the loops. 
Now thread the needle through the loop and this will finish the end of the chain. So now you can see it finishes right on the edge of that snap. Now take the female side of the snap and thread your needle through one of the holes. Then thread it through the stitch at the end of the chain and pull tight. Do this about three or four times so that it's nice and strong. Once that's done, make a knot by wrapping your thread around the needle a few times and pull through. Now working down the chain, just stitch through a few of the loops and then cut your thread. Now just do the same thing for the other side, again making sure that the snap or press stud is closest to the neck. To use these bra keepers, just slip the chain underneath your strap and snap together. With these holders in place, you don't have to worry about your straps showing or your clothes slipping off your shoulders. Make sure to check out some of my other videos Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy.